How's it going YouTube? My name is Akaden, signing in from Alaska, and if you guys want to know how to do a total of 30 mini turbo boost in a single match, don't forget to stick around because we are going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if you haven't already. It really does help us out here on the channel. We are providing consistent tutorials on Mario Kart Tour, so if you guys are interested in that, then don't forget to stay tuned into our channel. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this great video. So to start this off, guys, the map that I did choose to do the challenge is the Yoshi Circuit on the bottom left. As you can see here in the Toad Cup, I chose this map because it is pretty large. It is a large map and there is a lot of corners and stuff so you can get easy drifts. I ended up completing this challenge on my second try. So it definitely is an easy map if you are trying to complete this challenge. Second of all, I would definitely recommend lowering your difficulty. If you guys are playing in the higher tier CC levels, I would definitely recommend lowering your CC levels down to 50 to 100 at max. It just makes the challenge a lot more easier to complete even if you're having a hard time. And then, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory, guys. You guys are just going for these little mini boosts. As you can see here, I'm doing, you know, multiple of them. I'm just sliding into the corner and, you know, doing those mini boosts. I think I got around 40, I believe. You know, just, I was an overachiever on this challenge. And, you know, I, it ended up paying off. You know, I did this in my second attempt. And yeah, another tip I would like to give you guys if you guys are having a difficult time completing this challenge is to switch your, uh, your, your driving settings. You can do that on the top right of your screen. Just hit that little settings bar. And you know, if you guys are using the arrow controls, it is a little bit harder dr to drift. So I would definitely recommend switching to the, uh, to the drift controls like I am using right now. It just makes drifting a lot more easier. You know, even if you're not good at them, just even if you're not good at using drift controls, just do it for this challenge, guys. It does make drifting a lot more easier and getting these mini boosts 10 times easier. Especially if you are using tilt controls, which, you know, if you guys are, you know, congrats for you. But I would definitely recommend switching to a drift controls just to complete this challenge as well. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the clip. And then I'm going to show you guys that I actually did complete this challenge. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really does help us out. Like I said, we're trying to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year by making these uh, Mario Kart Tour videos. So if you guys are interested in that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really does help me out. I am really, you know, happy about these Mario Kart Tour videos turning out really well. I'm getting thousands of views on most of them. So it really does help me out. And I really do want to grow this channel up. So that really does help me out. And yeah. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay. So there we go guys, as you can see there, we just completed the match and we did overachieve this challenge guys. I believe we got 40 drifts, mini drifts, and yeah, we're just going to be showing you guys that we actually did complete the challenge even though we came in last or whatever. So there we go guys, 30 mini boosts complete. That's pretty much it for this video. I really do hope you guys found this helpful. Anyways guys, my name is of course AK Aiden, signing out from Alaska, peace.